Hey, what is up everybody? It's Wick here. I was going to start a vlog today, but uh, got an interesting uh, phone call and turns out I'm able to buy a Salvation Army pallet of untouched donations for $50. Um, I ended up making some connections, uh, some Etsy sellers. They uh, mostly sell vintage clothing on eBay and Etsy. And um, they're in with management at uh, Salvation Army, and they were contacted about, you know, maybe buying some clothing pallets. So uh, they asked me if I wanted to, if I was interested in the, the hard goods pallet. And I said, absolutely. Um, that sounds amazing. Uh, 50 bucks. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how big the pallets are that uh, described as a full pallet. And my definition of full pallet is taller than me. Uh, based on working in warehouse for a long time. Uh, that's what you would classify a full pallet at. Uh, so it's just uh, shrink-wrapped um, donations. Uh, they got this stuff in. It was um, overstock. They got too much in for some reason. Uh, it was an accident. And uh, they were told by uh, upper management just to move it, just to get it out of there, because they don't have room to keep it in their uh, receiving area. So... Um, this is not something uh, you can just go to Salvation Army and ask to buy a pallet. Um, it's pr probably pointless to do that because they just don't do that kind of stuff. It's just this is a unique situation. And um, I hope that, you know, I get an opportunity to maybe buy more in the future uh, since I, I'm in. So if this happens again, you know, that they already know about me. So, um, yeah, I'll happily try it. Now, the hard goods are supposed to have um, anywhere from home goods to uh, electronics, media, DVDs, could have video game stuff, um, pretty much anything that's not clothing or shoes, and I believe, like, purses and backpacks. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But um, all the clothing comes in these bins, and then the, uh, the home goods come on pallets, apparently. So, um... I'm really excited to go get this pallet. I don't, I'm going to have to take it apart and put it in the car, no doubt. It's just no way I'm going to be able to move a pallet in my car. Uh, it's probably going to take multiple trips, I'm, gonna, I'm imagining. But uh, let's go. Uh, let's go on this adventure. I'm, I'm excited. So it's going to take probably two or three loads to get all this pallet. Uh, to the garage. Here is the uh, first load filled to the brim. I'm gonna get this unloaded. It keeps falling. Put it in the garage and then um, after I get it all of the garage I'll probably do an unboxing video of the stuff um, on another day because I'm gonna be really busy today. I don't think I'm gonna have time but uh, pretty excited about this. Alrighty then here is load two. Uh, this is interesting. I think this might be a typewriter. It's really uh, heavy. I'm getting more and more excited as I lift these boxes and feel there's different things in them. Except when you read the little labels here that somebody donated clothes, purse, and sheets. Not too exciting there. But I think I'm going to pop this open here after I get it out. We'll just see what that is. It'll sneak peek. And there we go. This is the last of it. Took three trips to get the whole pallet. Uh, got some totes. Happy to have those. Always use those for storage. But uh, let's get this stuff in the garage. So here we are. It's pretty dark in here. Uh, I got, uh, other than this power washer back here, that didn't come in it, but uh, all the boxes and everything. It's actually quite a bit of stuff on a pallet. Um, it's going to be great to go through. Here's a tote. You see some Christmas ornament. Department 56. I don't know if those ornaments are worth anything. Uh, like I said, I expected most of it to be junk and either be sold at a garage sale, redonated, thrown away, etc. But just for the adventure alone, I'll drop $50 on a pallet like this any day. Uh, but let's look into this thing here. Uh, it has a key. Is it locked? It is not locked. What do you think it is? Typewriter? It's really heavy. Oh, sewing machine. No idea. Uh, Koyo CCA Stitcher no idea if that's worth anything probably not a whole lot I don't know anything about sewing machines I know some brands can do well but uh, pretty cool uh, I'll look that up and uh, definitely figure out if it has any value 
But um, unfortunately, I can't go through this stuff today. Maybe not tomorrow, and maybe not even the next day. So, but you're going to get to see it here in a minute because I'm going to go ahead and continue the video uh, when I'm actually unboxing all this stuff. So, oh, I can't wait. Okay, everybody, I got this little setup in the garage here. Uh, it's the next day. It is extremely cold. It's like 22 degrees. The coldest day of the year thus far. Uh, well, since summer. And uh, got some gloves because I don't know how dirty this stuff's going to be. And uh, I hope it's not too dark because I am in the garage. I have the garage door shut. All I have is these two um, photo lights shining on this table. But I think it'll be good. I'll just open this stuff up. I'll do a box at a time. And I got some totes on the floor here. I'll go ahead and kind of sort it as I go. Most of that will probably be edited out because I'll just go through and edit all the, the wasted time. Because this video I expect is going to be pretty long. I may even have to break it into two different uh, videos. But here's the first tote. I went ahead and I'll do the totes first because then I can use the totes for storage. Um, we seen these uh, yesterday. They were uh, Department 56 Christmas like city pieces. And I have no idea what these are worth. I did do a quick search on eBay and they go anywhere from like 15 to uh, 60, 70 bucks. So um, let's just go ahead and let me look up this um, reindeer barn and see what it's selling for. Okay, so this reindeer barn here, I hope it shows up fine. It's selling for about uh, 30 bucks shipped. Uh, considering it's not damaged or anything uh, and there's quite a few pieces in here looks like one two three there's some smaller ones here hopefully they're not broken that one kind of sounds like it could be broken oh, that's just a bell probably not broken um, here's some Avon gift collection probably just random ornaments uh, looks like Disney one? No, that's not Disney. Some just random smaller ornaments. Um, luckily, it is uh, Christmas time around the corner, so I'll, I'll get these uh, listed hopefully soon. But here's the thing also, I'm going to go ahead and um, a lot of times in the corner and at the end of the video, I'll go over some of the stuff that's more profitable and being kept. That way I can research everything at the end and then just at the end tell you uh, what this stuff is after I looked it up. So. I'll try not to ramble too much, because I can ramble a lot. I'll just set this over here. It's already in the tote. I'm probably keeping all of that. I'm not going to throw any away as of right yet. But let me jump to another box here. Here it is. Let me get my trusty knife out. Some of the larger boxes I may have to put in the floor. Oh, lovely baskets. Uh, we got here. Yep, some uh, weird looking baskets here. Uh, more baskets. Baskets, baskets, baskets. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up having a, a yard sale to deal with these baskets. They're in, they're in good shape. Uh, they're not really valuable. So I think I'm just going to sort it by stuff that... It's either going to be redonated or sold at a garage sale. Unfortunately, I have to hold this stuff till spring because garage sales are not going to do too well. Oh, look at that thing. It's some sort of a Fifth Avenue crystal. Pretty uh, cool looking. We got some Big Lots Christmas lights and stuff like that. This kind of stuff will probably be donated. I don't need to be holding on to it. It's not bad stuff. Uh, here is a gift. Yeah. Ooh, uh, little candles, raspberry peppermint. Um, some sort of bags. It might be better if I put these on the floor and just pulled the stuff up to this table. Probably do that with the next box. Here's another one of those bags. Uh, so on the floor for now, I got Christmas tags, Christmas stickers. Uh, 
few more ornaments. Here's some interesting Christmas ornaments right here. Uh, you know, this stuff don't really have a whole lot of value. Maybe at a garage sale, you know, a dollar for the pair. I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot of stuff like that. Here's something in a box. Looks to be some sort of a candle, like a tea light candle holder thing. Looks to be unused. Uh, that kind of stuff, though, will sell. It's just like, it's not the type of stuff that I sell. Interesting. Here's another thing. Let me uh, jump to the next box. I'll go ahead and sort this stuff and then uh, continue. I know I said I was going to do the totes first, but I'm too excited to grab a box. So we'll just keep going here with boxes. Here's a smaller one. Uh, it says Fast Times Cheeseburgers Beef Patties. Hopefully that's not what's in this. Okay, it looks like uh, some toys. So, uh, just kind of got these, I remember these, like, Splash Bomb toys. I think I had some when I was a kid. Uh, a baby rattle, some drumsticks, bracelet, uh, some of the calculator paper. That stuff's somewhat useful. Uh, here's an actual pack that hasn't been opened. Here is a wallet of some sort. Of course, I don't expect to find any money. Uh, just bought one of these and put it in my shower because there's some mold on it. Um, so yeah, this is something I'll be able to use. I'm sure I'll find lots of stuff like that. I got some water balloons and a water balloon fill kit. Uh, like what is that? Like a turkey baster type thing? Or I tried to sell it at a garage sale for ten cents and it didn't sell. Uh, some socks. Um, yeah. I uh, need to get a trash bin. There, the bo last box will be the trash bin. Here is, oh, something. Yeah, these things are packed pretty full. That little box, I didn't expect to have this much. Uh, like an old planner thing. Uh, pretty cool, but, you know, it's nothing I'm going to sell. Maybe a garage sale. It's already priced at a dollar. So I wanted to do that. Um, more socks. Um, as far as clothes go, especially socks, I have no desire to keep socks. Here is some sort of strap. It was a quarter, um, did not sell. Here is, uh, I'm not sure what this is, a microwave waffle grill. Hmm, interesting. Uh, little salt and pepper shakers or something, little glass globe. A uh, little candlestick thing. Uh, some sort of broken, uh, Goldra, East Palestine. That's pretty cheap. That goes in the trash because it's broken. I'm going to worry about keeping that. Here is a Mary Kay product. Looks like a soap dish. Um, don't think I have any reason to keep that. A little glass shade. Some corks. Interesting there. Here's something. This is a mono adhesive refill permanent American toe boy. Oh, these things are brand new. Not sure if they have any value, but you know, maybe we could eBay it, maybe even FBA it. Uh, there's six of these in a box, and here's a couple boxes in here. So I'll, I'm, I'm sorting stuff too by stuff I want to look up and possibly resell. So I'll put that in that tote. Uh, these corks, I don't think, would have that much value to sell online. Uh, this little dish thing, I don't know what that is. Another, is I think this palette is going to be mostly little knickknack things like that. Um, as long as we can find enough things to sell and make at least the $50 back. And honestly, that first tote with the ornaments, I think, is a perfect bacon bowl. Let me have that for myself. I think that tote with the ornaments, or the cities, I think that will probably pay for the unit itself. Uh, here's some 
Thickers. Yeah, I'm saying Thickers because that's what it says. Uh, interesting, their letters came from Hobby Lobby. It was three bucks originally. So that's it for that box. Um, nothing mind blowing in there, but uh, let me get this off the table and we'll switch to a new box. All right, here's another small box. Uh oh, this one uh, looks like old towels. Not really what, oh, maybe not. Here's a towel. But then you got a bunch of dolls. Let me uh, kind of tilt this box here so you can see. Probably not going to pull them all out. Uh, I don't know if there's anything. It says Mattel on that one. Oh, no, it doesn't. New material. I thought that said Mattel. Um, looks like all dolls. Uh, no idea if there's anything valuable in here. It's something I'll look up and, of course, let everybody know at the end of this video. Uh, see what it says. Cats. Panties? I can't be right. <laughs> uh, ponies, maybe. I don't see any ponies in there. I'd love to find a bunch of old Briar ponies. Uh, porcelain dolls, so maybe there is like some ponies in here somewhere. But like I said, I'll, I'll go through it and uh, if anything valuable, you'll know about it. So this box is a bit bigger, so I'm going to go ahead and just sit this one on the floor. It sounds like dishes anyway. And I'll just open it and pull up stuff. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll just put it up here anyway and tilt it. Because I don't think I'm going to take all this stuff out either. Uh, you can see it's like a basket. Um, it's like a little picture in here. I don't think anything of value. Here is uh, some uh, private photos in there. Yeah, nothing. Um, looks like more private photos. It's really weird that somebody would like donate. Like, I'll show you the tip. Like their family portrait to Salvation Army and like not take the picture out or not just throw that away. Uh, yeah, just a bunch of junky housewares. It looks like most of it's just going to be thrown away. I don't know if we'll see anything of value. I may add this basket to the rest of the baskets. Here's a pretty big box right here. Oh my, looks like some Tupperware. Yeah, it looks like uh, maybe some games in there. Here, let me just set this on the floor. So you got Tupperware, you got chair tips. That's actually probably sellable or usable. Got some old dominoes. Not sure if that's worth anything. Uh, open pack of chair tips. Um, American flag, 49 star American flags. Uh, is this actually old or just made like that? It's kind of strange. Um, some sort of decoration. Ooh, looks like we got some media. Hopefully, some video games. Uh, see what we got here. It's falling everywhere. Touching Wild Horses, Hollywood Hits, looks like whoever uh, this stuff came from is probably into horses and dolls, so I hope you can even see these movies, like I'm not sure <laughs> where the camera is even showing uh, Return to Me media, I mean if they're in here. You know, at a garage sale, maybe a buck a piece. Here is a 
Africa National Geographic set. That could be uh, worth something. I'll put that in the lookup pile. More Tupperware. Uh, another Africa style DVD. Probably into nature, horses, stuff like that. Uh, it looked like this was sealed at first. It's a past the popcorn game. Not very valuable. Probably would be worth something if it was sealed. Uh, Barb it says, Let's see what Barb's hiding in this box. Barb is hiding this little bowl thing. No idea. I don't really see a name on it. Doesn't seem to be that great of quality. And if you look at the box here, it does say mosaic tea light holder, so it's probably just something generic. Uh, nothing I really care about. Minimax photo album. A uh, little uh, on the go communion set, it looks like. Uh, it looks like little cups. Communion, maybe, since there's a cross in there. Who knows? A little storage tote. I like the storage tote. A little wreath, and a bunch of these little, like, Saucers, I guess they are. Uh, J&G Meekin England Sterling. No idea if, you know, <laughs> there's a market for those. I'm thinking not. But, you know, maybe, maybe it's worth looking up just to be sure. Wild Thornberries, Legend of Bagavats. Carrollton Glass, this thing was wrapped in this bag. Like it was pretty precious, doesn't look too great to me. But uh, I'm guessing like most of this palace probably from one person. I, I, there's no way of knowing for sure, but so far these boxes seem like they'd be from the same owner. Uh, here's a bunch of weird little trash can and buckets and things. Look to still have the tags on them, so that's a pretty good garage sale style item. Little earmuffs, little picture frame, some ceramic coasters. I've seen these things before. I, I can't remember what they're used for. Uh, another little candle thing. You know, it's possible that I open one of these boxes and there's a bunch of old video games. Probably not likely. Uh, just a little plastic heart thing. I don't even know what that is. Uh, another doll, and this little wooden, apparently to store dust, uh, not sure what that is, but junk, I know that much. Uh, let me clean this up and we'll get to another box. Next box. See a toy. Kind of let you see what's in there. We got don't fall off the table. Fish, dog thing, like some Halloween bells. This uh, toy radio. All this stuff was looking like it's probably going to be donated to a Goodwill or Salvation Army one. Uh, here is a. Uh, baby bear. Not sure what that is. Year 2000. Looks like it takes batteries. Uh, rest of this just looks to be like stuffed animal type things. Here's like a dance and wiggle bear thing. Uh, random doll. Like a gangster. Uh, well, not a gangster. More like a hippie style uh, frosty. Uh, yeah, probably all donation here. I don't see anything valuable. The side of this box says books. I'm happy to find books. At least some that are good for FDA. Let's see what it looks like in there. Looks like a bunch of random junk, doesn't it? Friends are the family you choose. Here is a purse filled with hundred dollar bills, uh, my big fat Greek wedding too, 
uh, eyeglass case. Carol, probably not very good. Uh, not sure what that is. Word puzzles. An unused inflatable top hat. Possibly the best find of the day. Uh, junk, junk, junk. Some Care Bear movies. Here is a Wilton K can. It is uh, a bunny. Let's see the year. Um, I don't know the year. Does it say? It says 2074. I doubt that is a year or I have found a future box and that is amazing. It does say Wilton on it. So those have a little bit of value. Here's like another little cake pan. This one's really heavy duty. I don't know if it has a name. But should have a little value there. A uh, calendar from, oh, a 2019 calendar. So actually a calendar that's still good. That's extremely weird. I'm, do I have a future calendar? I have a fu future box is what I have. Here is some um, uh, little girl's panties. So uh, maybe <laughs> maybe that was in the box I thought said ponies. But uh, let me set this box on the floor and I'll get the rest out. We got Thomas the Tank Engine book. Some photo frames. Uh, Glow spider necklace. Let's kind of throw this up. A lot of it's not worth even mentioning. Here is a glass vase of some sort. Some void fill. That's always valuable. Uh, looks like crayons in here. Uh, here's something. Uh, a ball cock. <laughs> So uh, that's brand new. These don't have a lot of value, but new stuff's always awesome. Oh, well, here's some more new stuff. You got a uh, Ralph Lauren Polo Black Extreme Cologne, but came from Big Lots, so I doubt it's anything too good. Here is a brand new Oral B toothbrush. Um, hey, you always need toothbrushes. I have an electric one, but still. Glow sword wands. I see school glue. Uh, some crayons. Here is a Twister Moves game uh, shoes. So, you know, nothing that's going to be sold on Amazon. It's not a valuable game, I'm pretty sure. Here is a little, well, I thought it was a Beanie Baby, but just something generic. And finally, some $100 bills. Sure looks like it's trying to be sold for two dollars. So there's that. Alright. Here's a small box. Let's just pop this open real quick. I got a bunch of like larger, just random loose things that weren't in boxes. I'll also show those a bit later. Oh, look at this. A bunch of cassettes. Uh let's see, you got Elton John in there, Stevie B, uh, Madonna. Um more Elton John, the Beach Boys, Billy Joel, uh, nothing, this is Simon and Garfunkel, bookends, that's a good one, uh, nothing probably going to be worth a lot of money, because that's just aren't worth a lot, maybe they're all sealed or something, uh, but, hey, cool, knock out some of these smaller boxes, oh, this looks like, uh, Garland, is that what it's called? Garland Christmas, Christmas stuff. Uh, I mean, it looks to be unused, so you know, to redonate that or you know, have a garage sale and a few little just ornaments and figurines. Looks like junk. That one's broken. Throw that trash away. Uh, this one, pretty trashy too. Who needs this? And it still has a tag on it. So, see, my problem is it's hard for me to, to get rid of stuff. I'm always like, oh, I can make 25 cents on that. 
But, you know, if I'm going to be doing pallets like this or eventually you do storage units or something like that, I, I have to just be able to let crap go. But I do want to try selling, having a garage sale and seeing how this stuff moves. So a lot of it will be boxed up probably and held just for that reason. That way I can test, uh, you know, if garage sales are worth it. Because a lot of these things, they will add up. And I'm going to have a lot of other stuff like FBA returns and just stuff I want to sell anyway at a garage sale. So I might as well just have one and then donate the stuff off of that and then do a tax write-off. Here we go, another small box. And I'm starting to believe that this is definitely from different families, these donations. And I've seen a couple, like, uh, name, oh geez, address name things on the products in different, different locations, different last names. And some of the products are just looking different in general. What we got here, I don't know what that is. This is a perfect pancake pan thing. Uh, something maybe I could use. I would like some perfect pancakes. Doesn't seem to be in that bad of shape. And I don't know, this is blowing my mind right now, but these plates, I've seen these before. Do I have plates like this? Corral, not for broiler or a microwave or stovetop use. Um, I don't know. I feel like I have. I've seen this place before. Maybe somebody had them when I was growing up or something. And just some random top. We just throw that away. So here's a bit bigger box. This is out of Leslie's room. So uh, see what Leslie has. I'd rather it say like. Uh, George's uh, Nintendo 64 collection, something like that, but I guess we'll have to settle for Leslie's room. Man, Leslie had plates and stuff, it looks like. So, there's what it looks like when I open it. Uh, now I'll set it over here and start pulling it out. Got these plastic uh, plates. Not saying that with these, but I feel like doing these, I'm going to upgrade a lot of like my, my kitchen stuff. <laughs> these look a little scratched up, but uh, if they're microwavable. It says not microwave safe, so I definitely don't want those. There's uh, smaller uh, versions of those. Here's a cherry pitter. See these in the thrift stores all the time. A stoneware microwave cooker. Fake little plant, kind of neat. Here's a fitness ball. Looks like maybe never used. Uh, you know, not not going to be worth selling online or anything like that. Here is an Alice Wong kettle of some sort. It looks kind of cool. Uh, probably not worth anything. You know, most kitchen stuff's not going to be worth anything. Some sort of tea kettle, some buckets. Got some bags. Uh, some placemats. Look pretty nice. Picture frame. I could actually use one of these on the other side of my sink, so I've only had one on one side forever, <laughs> so maybe I'll just take that home and uh, use that. Some goggles, some, what is that, a curtain, or an apron, or a bag, it's a big bag. I'll have to look at those bags, maybe it's something I can use. A little solar light, a uh, rain gauge, new. Not be worth anything. And a shovel! Okay, so we got this big box here. It says hall closet and diapers. Uh, hopefully, new diapers. There you see it. Open this up. It's a big boy. It's not terribly heavy. So maybe there are diapers in it. Uh, well, here's what it looks like in there. And I will set this here. Looks like you got a wine rack. It 
some sort of cloth material sheet things. Uh, just throw that away. Big basket. Random uh, plant thingy. Corn stripper, set of two. More random plant stuff. I see a Jolly Rancher wrapper in there. Get that out of the way, that's just gonna be trash. Uh, some random stuff that doesn't sell at the garage sale, it looks like. I'm not sure what that is. Nonstick steel bakeware. Looks like it's never been used. Little Tupperware set. Another uh, weird thing. I'm not sure what it's used for. Oh boy. Nearly lost a finger. Grabbed this and the knives were sliding out of it. Uh, knife set. Not worth. That thing is in there. I am looking for some new knives, but that's not very good. I'm just going to toss that for the trash pile. A extremely warped bowl can be trash, trash, trash. Uh, that, this appears to be trash. What is this? This is something for a, a shoe, right? A shoe sizer or a shoe tree. Uh, Kind of weird that they're that big. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what they are. Um, but here they are. And finally, in that, you got the Bread Tube Star Pampered Chef. Doesn't look like it was ever used. Uh, I'm sure it's not valuable, but uh, some Pampered Chef stuff can be worth selling. I'm sure that's no more than 10 bucks. The rest of this stuff I will just throw into a donation slash garage sale. This thing has all kinds of little holes like it's been shot up. Uh, it is a wine rack of some sort. Um, see, a lot of this is junk, but stuff like this, when you're pricing like two bucks at a garage sale and you know, 50 cents to a dollar, you've got this many, you know. I paid $50 for this whole pallet. Um, you sh you're definitely going to more than double your money. It's going to take a lot of work, but uh, you can definitely make money with pallets like this. Uh, it's just not my style. I'm not set up to like sell at a flea market or do garage sales or anything like that. Like I said before, I mostly got this pallet just for the sheer, the sheer entertainment of going through it and seeing what I could find. So here is another big boy. Some of these uh, Home Depot boxes I could almost use for FBA. They're not too beat up. like more junk. I was hoping for a bit more media and uh, like uh, some electronics and, and books and uh, stuff like that but I assume that it would be mostly this kind of stuff. So you got some Febreze filters. I can, that's new. I can probably FBA that and get a little bit of money. Grommets. You got a little weird thing. What is this? Some sort of plate. Salem Church of the Brethren, 1876 to 1955. Uh, it's got some sort of stamp on it. You know, very doubtful it's worth anything. But, you know, I'll send it over here in the lookup pile. Because look, any, if I can get just a few things where I make 10 bucks on, you know, that's going to up my profits. Like I said so far, that first tote. I think is going to be, uh, I'm going to make all my money back. Plus, I don't know if I've showed it yet, but there's a dollhouse that may be worth um, $100, $200 over there. It's one of the old wooden ones. Uh, I don't know if all the pieces are there, obviously, but you know that could be something. Looks like a little cookbook, unused. Speaking of dollhouse, here is a uh, dollhouse lighting kit. Look, it was normally 3870. You can tell this is pretty old. Uh, let's take a look inside here, see what it looks like. It looks like it's pretty, uh, <laughs> it looks very used, uh, so probably no value. 
but you know, we'll, t we'll take a look at it later anyway, just to see. Here looks like some toys for some sand. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. It looks like ice, and you kind of pop them out. That's kind of neat. I actually could use this for my mini fridge uh, in my bedroom. I have a freezer. That way when I want to pour me a drink, I can just uh, have some little ice cubes ready. So maybe I'll take that home with me. Got an Iron Man <laughs> car here. Got tons of baskets. Uh, baskets do sell. People like to buy them. See them at garage sales and do them all the time. All that work to get that out of the bag, and it's a dirty old butter dish. Uh, I think I'll just throw that away. Oh, there that goes. A little generic flashlight. You know, I don't need to keep that. No one's gonna buy a generic flashlight. Here is some interesting looking uh, dolls. Uh, it does say Disney on the bottom. Definitely not old. But it could have a little bit of value. You could lot them together. Here's another one. Um, yeah, I'm a pervert looking up her dress. Uh, yeah, another Disney one. Uh, some vintage looking Disney stockings. Uh, some of the vintage stockings can sell well. Uh, these don't look to be anything special. Uh, happy birthday bags. These things alone cost like a dollar. I'm just kind of popping in there to see if there's any <laughs> gift cards or anything, you know, wishful thinking. Here's a little generic binder. Probably just toss that. Stop a drain. Uh, picture frame. Uh, I've, I've found a lot of picture frames so far that are not used. Uh, pretty nice. Something heavy wrapped in this doily. Kind of cool. Uh, it says 1886. It's got like a, looks like the Olympic torch or something. But it seems to be pretty generic, so nothing special. Trash! Okay, it looks like we're about halfway done. Uh, no idea how long you know, this video is going to be right now. We've got some small boxes. Interesting. You got hats. Uh, just generic. Hats. Uh, <laughs> just two in a box, so that will definitely be donated slash your eye cell. Here's the next box. Uh, it's like some little bags. That one says Texas. Let's see if there's anything uh, valuable here. This one is uh, U style. I'm guessing, you know, still has the tags, but I can't imagine this being anything. But I'm just not knowledgeable when it comes. You know, I know like coach and stuff like that, but you know, I don't know. Here's a chaps. Uh, pretty dirty. Still, that's uh, maybe all garage sale stuff. You got a very girthy, heavy glass vase. Uh, looks like a garage sale box of stuff that didn't sell in the garage sale, so probably not going to be anything of value, or pickers would have got it, I would assume. Another vase here, just, you know, nothing special at all, just garbage, and then this super tic-tac-toe thing in the bob, which will be trash. you ask for another? Looks like trash. You got an old iron. Uh, here is a schoolhouse bank. That's brand new. It's got a UPC on it. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to paint it. I know this isn't worth anything unless it's just vintage and somebody's looking for it. 
So to this to a, the side, just for research purposes. Ooh, a pair of uh, glasses. Interesting. Generic dollhouse, candy switch, um, some sort of power adapter for something. Mystery bag, looks like another pair of glasses. Got this lamp. Doesn't have garage sale stuff or garage sale stickers on them, but it does say made in China. So nothing here that looks like it's of any value to me. Oh, I see that remote control. Does this have some good electronics in it? Uh, look at this thing. <laughs> Not going to be a valuable remote. Has been open, but it's good to see that. Maybe you could find a VCR or something. Uh, it's an old Dymo professional. I doubt that's worth anything. Some Conair rollers. Some crafty stuff. Here is a stapler. Bostitch. Probably nothing. Some staplers can have a little bit of value. Some envelopes. A uh, bag thing. And then you got a book. Animals in winter. Probably worth nothing. I'm assuming what Salvation Army does is people donate this stuff and then they just tape it up. Oh, this is uh, unused, whatever it is. It is a ready, set, go. Looks like some sort of foreman grill ripoff. Uh, yeah, it's, it's still unused. Uh, yeah, that's what the box is too. Uh, no idea. I'll set it over here to look up, see if it has any value. Here's a here's a food dehydrator. Uh, that also appears to be new. Uh, I know somebody that was looking for one of these recently, but then uh, sent me a message and said, "Never mind, I found one." So, uh, yeah, not. This is a uh, Goodwill fuel right here. This says spices kitchen. Oh, cool. We got some uh, of these cross stitch things. Uh, these things can sell for so much money, like uh, 40 to $50 for certain ones I've sold. Uh, here we got some new ones, some dazzle works. Uh, Oh boy, it looks like uh, it's just full of these things. A lot of them look to be unused. Um, some vintage unicorn one. That one looks like it's possibly been opened or tore open. Uh, there could be uh, $100, $200. I'm not even joking worth of stuff in here. It doesn't look like it's that great of stuff, but... This box here could probably pay for the, uh, the whole pallet. But we'll have to see. I don't know for sure. That's why we'll put it in the lookup pile. Next box here. Looks like it's possibly upside down. Yeah, I picked up four or five cross-stitch cross uh, sets at... Uh, Salvation Army last year, and most of them are Christmas, and I've started already selling them, and I've paid four bucks a piece for them, I already sold a few for uh, 40, Let's see, one for 25, one for 40, another one for about 40, and I think I'm going to sell another one for about 60, uh, so pretty good, this is just a random craft thing, looks like some more, See, this, uh, this stuff would be gold if it wasn't open. I still maybe had to lot it up on eBay, and a crafter may be interested in it. I'm uh, just not sure. Looks like you got some stockings. <laughs> uh, a big...
big random dice this is totally no yes Gener oh this is kind of cool you kind of turn this wheel how many days left till Christmas hey look vintage troll got glitter on his face but that wipes off uh, probably doesn't have much value but we'll throw it over here to check little uh, kitty cat tea kettle thing something in it looks like balls little balls of yarn uh, <laughs> kind of neat here's the box for it Here's a Christmas decorative flag, never been opened, was $8 originally at Walmart. And then just the stockings and some other generic Christmas stuff, and then a little basic white shelf. This box that says Fragile. Pretty heavy. Oh, I see a Beanie Baby label. Let me tip it. Let's see what it looks like in there. You know what I would like to find? A nice bamboo cutting board. I could really use one of those. This thing is heavy. Oh, what is it? I'm not sure what it is, but uh, that's probably the most, most of the weight in that box. Got like a candle warmer here. Here is a $10,000 Beanie Baby, no doubt. like there's a lot of random stuff in here here's just a generic flashlight still works barely I'm just not gonna keep these generic flashlights uh, here's some bowls that went with that set earlier so this must this box is definitely donated by the same person here is a uh, cross made in China some super sliders those things are always useful they're kind of pricey too if you gotta buy those new there's the other uh, drain, some staples, uh, audiobook, cassette, not too interested in that, fingerboard, soccer, uh, a journal, it's kind of nice, that's never been used. And there's a lot of mugs and little mainstays, which is Walmart brand uh, dishes and stuff in there. Not going to pull all those out. Uh, a decent little thermos here, and then some creepy uh, cr clown bank. Uh, so nothing in there, you know, too valuable at all. Here is something that says teapot and plates. Not looking forward to opening this. Trash. Here is some frames. I'm actually looking for some frames like this. I think it's going to be a little too small for me. But uh, this one is cracked anyway. So that'll be trash. I'm going to take that one home just to make sure it doesn't fit what I'm trying to fit in there. It looked like it said uh, Leslie on it. So this is still from Leslie's house. There's another one. Okay, there's what we got in there. Back, oh, it's one of these things. Whoa! Don't care about that. Uh, a little supply thing. It's never been opened. Might be able to use that. We got a Table of the Elements mug. That's kind of cool. Whoa, look at that. It's got a blade on it. Not sure what that is used for, but it's interesting. CD storage case. Empty. Some litter bags, some generic dishware, and that's it for this box. Here we go. Uh, what do we got here? Tip it over to see. 
what I see. Uh, looks like maybe a shower curtain or something. I'm just going to trash that. Four gift boxes. That's something. Here's a bell, safety, and headlight. Uh, never, never used, but man, what happened to that? Must have been in a basement or something. Here is some um, more of that Garland stuff. More little bags. The teacher from the Black Lagoon looks to be a playaway audiobook or something. Oh wow, look, that's interesting. It comes on this little unit, it looks like. You just listen to it. Very bizarre. I've never seen anything like that. It must have been for a, a school. Something like that. Multiplication. Uh, flashcards. Maybe this person was a teacher. I've been seeing a lot of random school type stuff. Oh, some Christmas bulbs. Whatever is in here sounds broken. when I was loading this stuff into the car, I dropped a box. It could be this one. What is that? Maybe it's um, Pyrex. I'm not sure. It is just nothing. It's just generic. And that, that piece is broken. Yeah, it's just... Not Pyrex. This one is. Uh, does it look like any? I'm not a Pyrex Pyrex expert by any means, but I don't think that uh, this is a uh, the good one. This is just Anchor. So uh, I will look at the Pyrex a bit more, but you know I'm almost certain it's nothing. So it looks like I have three more boxes left. Here's a nice rough neck tote. Oh, nice. Uh, it's another box of these uh, Christmas city things. Uh, a few more ornaments. Like uh, It's going to be exciting to look these up. Like That one has an original price tag of $45 on it. Uh, I'm sure some of these are collectible and people are going to be looking for them. So hopefully they're not all broken up. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, five in there. Uh, if you're getting 30 bucks, like there's that one on average, that's some pretty good money. Uh, I think the uh, cross stitch and the uh, Christmas City Department 56 figures are going to do, you know, going to make it worth it for me. And even if I just sell that stuff on eBay and just toss the rest of it in the trash, I'm doing all right. Plus, I had a good time. So let's get these last three boxes. Hopefully I don't run out of memory and uh, or battery. I know it's getting low. <laughs> I want to finish this video. Uh, get it edited and out tomorrow. Here is another uh, of those wine things. The other one was in a lot worse shape. But that's probably coming from the same person. Let me kind of show you what we're looking at in here. This, I actually like that. It's kind of neat. Uh, probably don't work, but kind of like the style of that. Here's some uh, Tweety mugs. Probably vintage. Yeah, 1992. They're not in the greatest shape. They actually got little holes in them. Is that, are they supposed to have little holes in the cheeks? They're in the exact same spot, so I would imagine. I don't know what they're for. The holes don't go all the way through. But uh, yeah, those probably be sold. Oh, here's a Bugs Bunny to go with it. Maybe we'll get some, another Bugs Bunny in here somewhere. Let me get this on the floor. Base looks like a bunch of 
lids for something. Probably just toss those out unless I find the rest of those. chopper uh, one of these Ohio State uh, probably done at a fair or something the angel mug looks like to be some sort of mug from other elder beerman a bird in a cage matching glassware always like to at least look on the back of the glassware just to see if there's a name uh, you can pretty much tell after you touch enough of it if they're uh, this is just trash if there's something special or not. Here's another one of these angel mugs. Just like a, a plant potter thing. What is this? Oh, that is a pig cookie jar, it seems. The problem with this is, it doesn't have the lid. And again, it's nothing special anyway. They had $5 on it at a garage sale. I hate to see garage sale stuff. As you know, that it's more than likely been picked through. Hey, some media. Uh, not sure what's in there. Just got some CDs. Nothing special. Classical music. Here is just some nasty looking oven proof thing. That's just going to be thrown away. It's got cracks in it and everything. Found the lid for the pig. 23rd Psalm. Little uh, Cincinnati Reds player. Some tape with a <laughs> safety pin stuck to it. And then some uh, rib ribbon. Okay, the last two boxes here. 16% battery, so these are going to be quick. Uh, here's what it looks like. Kitchenware, I'm not going to pull out everything unless it looks interesting. This kind of does. It's got a name and it's made in Italy, so it's got a date of 1985. I'll look it up. I'm sure it's nothing. Uh, the rest just glass crap. A glasses case. Sounds like it's got some glasses in it. Uh, Generic glass stuff. Here's a box within a box. Just a case for something. Uh, doesn't look like anything good. Yep. Just the same kind of trash we've been seeing. Uh, nothing too interesting. Here's some sort of lobster thing. All right, final box, and it's a big one. Show you what's in here, then I'll show you uh, some of the other larger things that weren't in boxes. But I'm going to have to charge my phone, which means I'll probably have to finish the video tomorrow. Uh, here's what we're looking at in here. Oh, about to go the whole table. Ah, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> looks like more junk. Here is a butter dish. It's got that old look to it. Uh, no name on it. Nothing valuable. All this stuff looks like it's stuff they wanted to save. So I'll have to go through and individually check each one of these to make sure there's nothing in there. Now I'm not hopeful. It's a big bowl. You use that for something. Here's one of these uh, shower uh, wall things. These are actually expensive if you buy these new. They'll be up to 40 bucks. I'm not sure about used. Hello. Uh, pretty nice frame. Maybe this one will be, nah, no, it's not going to work for me. Looks like some more wall decorations, some more frames that have never been used, and just more glassware. So kind of what I expected from this palette, just a bunch of stuff, you know, I'm not going to be interested in. But the saving grace of it is the, uh, the Department 56 stuff, 
So I'm going to clean up a little, go through this stuff, see what's valuable, and make an estimate on how I'm going to do with this palette. Okay, real quick, let me show you some of this larger stuff here. It's a random book here, and a basket. Uh, you got, what is in here? Looks like some rackets. Maybe a badminton net, yep. Probably throw that away. A uh, doll of some sort. Aquarium, should probably be thrown away. Some weird basket thing should probably be thrown away and here's the dollhouse uh, someone has one on eBay right now for $200 but this exact one has never sold uh, it's kind of rare I don't think it's really heavy I don't think I would ship it on eBay I may try to do a local sale from 1998 uh, you can see here they say not sure all there mostly is <laughs> so uh, maybe I can part it out or something but I think there's some money there uh, Disney table with some chairs. The chair, one chair is destroyed. The table's in pretty good condition. I don't know. Probably just throw that out too. Here's just a basic table. It does have the legs with it. Uh, here's a massage chair. Um, I got one recently at a garage sale. There's a pop up tent. Seems to be in good condition. And there's another tent. That one's definitely used. see the tiki torches there one two three four five of them pretty good shape I'll probably keep those I'm gonna use them uh, this summer for a party or something uh, here's the rest of the massage chair it doesn't look like it's gonna be one of the good ones an ironing board and three brand new um, like blind curtain set things. I might end up using them myself or uh, try to sell them locally. I'm not sure how much you get for them, but they're brand new and I'm sure they were probably $20, $30 a piece originally. Oh, that step stool over there, and then of course the sewing machine you've seen earlier. Step stool alone, those things sell for, you know, 20, 30 bucks sometimes. Okay, real quick, let me show you uh, some of the more profitable stuff and stuff that I might sell uh, to make some money. First, you got this Express Ready Set Go. Uh, I was pretty surprised this thing's new, selling for 30 bucks. It is new. I have opened the box, but uh, I'd probably just ship it like this too. So I'll probably be able to sell that for 30. I think it was even a uh, buyer pays shipping on that. I'm not sure. Not even sure what it is, honestly. Uh, this Pyrex here was kind of surprising. Um, the basket is what's more surprising to me. It was selling for $17 plus shipping. And then uh, the dish itself was uh, selling. Well, there's a new one that actually sold for uh, $25, I think. Or at least it looked in really good condition. I don't know if it was technically new. This one is in good condition. It's just a little dirty. So I'll probably just try to sell both of these together for like maybe $30 plus shipping see if I can't get a sale I know some Pyrex does good and I've never found any that's really worth selling but this could be my first time uh, this milk jug it's debatable if it's worth it um, there's some on there not this exact one that is selling for anywhere from 20 to 25 but it looks like most of them are selling for around 10 plus like three or four dollars shipping so you know I don't know if it's really worth it it'll probably sit for a while but I uh, could make some money on it. Uh, we got some vintage, I don't know, a year or anything. So I don't know how well they would sell. But quite a few Christmas tags. And I've seen a lot of vintage Christmas tags. Uh, selling for around $10, $15. These things are easy to ship. So uh, nothing huge. But that, the profits add up on this stuff. It's a bulk game when you're buying pallets and storage lockers. Uh, this bar, actually, there's one that sold for $11 shipped. I weighed it. They're actually really light. And uh, you could ship this uh, first class. It weighs, I think, a little under 11 ounces. And uh, you can make a little bit of money. Probably be a fairly easy thing to sell. I'm not sure. I probably won't do it myself. Uh, here's the Wilton cake pan and the other rabbit cake pan I didn't see a name on. But you can probably lot these together and uh, sell it for 15 It's hard to sell with Wilton cake pans. This one didn't even have a date on it. So, again, this is something that you could, you know, if you wanted to take the time. 
I'm probably not because I'm more into Amazon. I don't want to list things unless I'm making, you know, ten dollars and it's easy to list and deal with. Uh, this thing too was kind of unique. Uh, if it had, if the whole set was here, you could sell it for about seventy dollars. I think there's like a seven or eight piece set of different size jars. Uh, it's Carrollton 1982, I think that says, uh, or 62. Surely it's not 62. Anyway, I looked it up. And you could make a little bit of money on this. Again, it's probably something I wouldn't sell. I don't know if I would make my, quite my $10. Uh, over here, the vintage uh, Tweety Birds. This is actually really good. Uh, they're kind of dirty. I don't know how well they're clean up. But I seen one Tweety that was in really clean shape. Sold for $20. Uh, looks like the like if you do an auction, you're not going to get much out of these. You, you really have to wait for a buyer. I could probably sell the pair here uh, for $24.99 and then uh, probably $15 bucks for the uh, bugs. But uh, he's dirty. I'm just going to have to figure out a way, maybe let him soak in some dish detergent or something. If anyone has any tips on how to clean this kind of stuff, it's kind of like the, I don't know what kind of plastic you call that. And these also came from KFC, uh, I found out. So uh, they're from 92. Uh, it was a KFC promotion. So those are actually pretty good money. Like honestly, that's close to paying for the pallet just in those mugs. Here's the troll. Um, he sold for fifteen dollars. There's a sale on eBay. He'll ship pretty well, pretty easy to list. He's in pretty clean condition too. So I might go ahead and list him. Um, I probably get just under my the ten dollars I want. But like I said, he's just easy to deal with. Uh, here's some Amazon FBA stuff. This thing I make about five bucks. So I might as well ship this stuff in. Uh, this will make about five bucks. So there's like ten there. Uh, this bread, Pamper Chef thing, I think I make, I think it was like seven dollars profit in the end. And these are pretty surprising. Uh, these super sliders. Uh, I make five dollars a piece on those. So there's uh, ten dollars there. So I see ten. Let's just say 15 20 25 about $25 in FBA stuff. That'll be easy to deal with. That's half the pallet cost right there. Uh, and then uh, the, the best thing by far is the Department 56 North Pole Series collection. I got two totes of this stuff. I went through it all, and um, like this one was the best one. I think I can get 35 for this one, and there's one for 30 and then there's some that are selling for 15, 15, 20. Um, I estimate in the end, after all fees and everything, I could probably make uh, $150 on all of those. And I don't know if I'm going to sell them single or lot them up. I think I'm just going to lot it up because I just I don't have time to just list all this stuff. Just lot it up. Maybe even do an auction. Just make sure my uh, Shipping is maybe I'll start it at 50 bucks plus buyer pay shipping. Let's let the auction run and just uh, get it out of here because I don't need to be messing with it. But if you wanted to sell each thing individual, I think you'd definitely make $150 in the end on that. So that's uh, three times the pallet there. Now, here's this stuff right here all this cross stitch. Uh, ended up being pretty disappointed. I was pretty excited when I seen it, just been just based on what I've been selling a lot of cross stitch for. I'm going to sell this one probably for about $13.99, $14.99 on eBay. And then uh, there's a couple sealed ones here. Most of it was open. Um, you might make $10 on those doing a bundle. And then if you see a tote over here, I got a bunch of the open ones and ones that aren't worth as much. But you still make about $50 just selling all that, I think. Uh, some of them, if they were still sealed, it would be amazing. But even though they're open, I think it's just that the packaging is old. And it just kind of opened. I don't think they've actually been done. But I can go ahead and just lot it all up on eBay and probably get $40 or $50 on that. And that'll be easy to ship too. Here's this box of dolls I went through and looked and kept looking. I couldn't find any names or anything. So that's a good sign they're trash. I think it was this one or one like it even. that had, uh, I forget the name already, but I looked up one of them. They don't sell very well at all. So uh, this is one of those things. I may just take a picture of the box, take a picture of a few dolls in the pile, and just uh, figure out what the shipping would be for this box, and then just start an auction and let it run to see if anyone wants this garbage and get it out of here. Um, or I'll just redonate it and just not deal with it. So um, 
Not sure what I'm going to do with that. Here's a, I could have made $10 on these panties, but I noticed they're missing a pair. They're selling for about 20 uh, some dollars on Amazon. Uh, pretty good sales and everything too. It's just it's missing one, so I can't sell it. Could probably eBay them for a little bit of money. Again, I don't know if it's worth my time. Stuff like this purse, you can make a little bit of money. The fitness ball, these uh, Disney uh, dolls. Um, you got sealed Christmas stuff. And here's, well, if you're going to be doing pallets or storage units or anything like that, where you're buying in bulk, all this kind of small junk, you definitely have to have a way to move it, whether it be a flea market, garage sale, um, because that's where most of your money is going to come from, or a lot of your money, because just think if you are if you had a garage sale and you was pricing this stuff anywhere from $0.50 cents to $5, um, you're probably going to make 100 200 bucks. That stuff adds up quick. Like, trust me, I've done garage sales before with not even near this much stuff and, you know, cleared a, a couple hundred bucks. So um, definitely might be worth the time. Maybe not for me. I still, I don't know. Like, if I get an opportunity to buy another one of these pallets, I am going to buy it, and I just need to make room. I'm just going to throw all this junk away. I'm just going to try to find the more quick sales. Um, what I was surprised about this unit, actually, I expected a lot more just plain junk that had to be thrown away. But if you look over here, I only got these two boxes of actual, like, throwaway junk, where it's just like, this stuff I just don't want. And a lot of it's just like the paper and trash. I think I do have a little box over there that I have a little bit of trash in that I started originally. But other than that, like none of it was trash. And he, arguably a lot of this stuff too is still decent stuff that could be sold at a garage sale. So I expected just a lot of like just plain garbage. It wasn't. It's all like uh, usable stuff. Um, like this pig here, you know, two bucks at a garage sale. That would probably move fine. You got uh, the schoolhouse. You got these things here, which are really nice. They're just like a no-name brand that someone wants them. You know, three bucks there. It adds up. Even their aquarium for like three bucks if someone's looking for one. It's not a bad aquarium. It's just a little bit dirty. That basket thing over there, five bucks. Um, game, 50 cents. Uh, these buckets are brand new with the shovels. These plates. I got the plates and the bowls. Uh whole set three bucks i mean you can give people great deals and make some decent money on this stuff but i know this video is super long and i'm just kind of rambling in the end i think i'm going to make about 250 dollars realistically uh that's mostly selling the north pole series collection here and uh, a few of the things like the amazon stuff and some of the easier to list things uh I think you could squeeze probably about five, at least $500 profit out of this if you're just trying, if you had a flea market or a garage sale. And another option is I can box all this stuff up and just post on Facebook Marketplace, hey, anyone want to buy all this loose houseware stuff for 50 bucks? And uh, then uh, I'll make some money that way. There's all kinds of ways to do it. I even got some stuff over here for me. Um, <laughs> the... Uh, toothbrush and I don't know about the cologne I'll probably try that I like this plant I'm gonna put it in the house a little pancake maker I'm gonna try that out a frame that I might end up using uh, that clock I'm gonna hang up somewhere in my house because I just like it and a, a tea little teapot with uh, four teacups I think will be pretty awesome and then the ice maker over there and the drain thing and uh, another drain thing so that's pretty cool. Plus the totes, you know, I got three totes out of this unit. So um, those things, if you buy new, you know, seven to ten dollars, especially the roughneck one is um, an over a ten dollar tote, probably about twelve dollars. So you almost get your money back in the totes. I got the DVDs over there. Um, a lot of them are horse DVDs. You probably lock those up, sell them on uh, eBay for about 20 bucks. Somebody that wants a uh, horse collection movies. So my final verdict of this palette of untouched donations is well, it's, it's a complete gamble, and I knew that going in it. And I knew that there's a chance I got nothing but junk, and then I knew there's a chance, you know, you find a box with just... You could find a box of retro games or um, 
movies or pretty much anything one like dvd recorder or something like that could make you 300 bucks so it is definitely a gamble and i will happily buy more of these um my only problem is space and um again trying to decide what i'm going to do with all the junk whether or not just donate it or try to sell it somehow I really hope I get an opportunity to buy another one. I know uh, the people I know that got the clothing ones uh, did extremely well. Um, <laughs> like, the, I, I seen some of the clothing they got. They were getting stuff that, you know, is going to be easy, $800. So clothing's probably a bit better. And um, maybe a shoe one. Uh, this stuff, you know, it's just hard to move this houseware stuff. I'm just looking for the treasure in it. And I didn't really find any treasure, but uh, I found enough. I'm definitely going to make money, so I'm happy. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. This is going to take a long time to edit and do. So please uh, hit that like button for me. Share it. Subscribe. Give me support. Uh, if you want to see more palette videos like this, I'll keep trying to buy them. Uh, just let me know in the comments. And um, don't forget to uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.